Hi, Africa friends. This is Miss Puspita. I'm here with you to do a craft project. So this is what we are going to do. We are going to create a bottle animal craft. Not a bottle, but we're going to create three bottle animals, actually. So we're going to create a turtle, a raccoon, and an alligator. So uh, these are uh, three of many other characters from the book called Raccoon on His Own by Jim Arnoski. Um, if you haven't read the book before, you can go to our class padlet. So this is how the book looks like. You can go to our class padlet. I'm going to show you our class padlet. I um, shared the link to our class padlet via Class Dojo, and I believe Miss Morris um, sent uh, the link to her Class Dojo as well. So this is our class padlet. So as you can see, uh, we have this reading section, and there is this raccoon on his own. And then you can click the play button. Now, what are our uh, learning targets? First, I can identify 3D objects. So we are going to use the bottle water, the empty one, which is a 3D objects. Yes, it is. Um, we're going to use that uh, bottle water as our main um, supplies. And second one, I can use my fine motor skill to create my bottle, my bottle animal. So fine motor skill because we are going to um, do some cutting and then we're going to glue, uh, do some uh, gluing. So we are using our motor skill, our fine motor skill to create um, the bottle animals. Uh, the third one, I can use different art tools to create my bottle animal. So we are going to use crayons, we're going to use glue sticks or any other glue that you have at home. Uh, we're going to use scissors, we're going to color, we'll pencil color. So we are using different art tools. And last one, I can retell Raccoon on his own story using my bottle animal. So once you have all of the characters or maybe just one or even two that's fine you can retell the story remember the raccoon is the main character so you might want to uh, definitely want to create the raccoon so you can retell the story now what are the supplies that we need to create this craft we're gonna need copy paper it's just white blank paper and then glue or tape. I do have glue sticks right here. I like glue sticks. I have duct tape. I don't have a small one, but if you have a small one, that will be great. Or if you only have glue or if you only have um, either one, um, that's okay too. Whatever you have at home. Uh, empty water bottle. Construction paper brown and green um if you don't have any construction paper at home don't worry you can use white blank paper and you, you can color it with green or brown and then color pencil crayon marker and then also scissors um if you don't have um, the kid scissor um you can use the adult one but make sure you have an adult to assist you And then also you're going to need the template. So the template looks like this. Um, you need to download the template. Um, I'm going to, um, you can download it in the link in this YouTube link. Or also you can go to our class Padlet to download it. Now let's start. Um, making this bottle animal. 
So the first thing you're going to do is you print out the template or you can always create your own raccoon, alligator, or turtle. If you feel like, oh, I don't want to print it, I just want to create my own, you can. But if you do print the template, or even when you create it, don't forget to color it. So I have the page that has been colored. It's going to look like this. The raccoon has black mask, uh, mostly black ears, and there's uh, some brown right here, and then brown and black tail and for the turtle i color it with um dark green and light green and the crocodile i, I color it with um green dark green so once you're done coloring it you cut it out you cut it out remember when you use the adult scissors make sure um you have an adult next to you to assist you with this okay once you're cutting it out with scissors i have part that has been cut out right here the head and i have turtles once you cut out all the parts okay you want to set it aside and then we can start making our raccoon first so this is what we are going to make first raccoon because he is the main character so first with this bottle, we empty the uh, bottle, we wipe it until it's uh, fully dry, and then we're going to cut it into three parts. So we are going to cut it into three parts. Like this, and I'm going to dry it so wet. It will be careful, it's a little bit pokey on the edge, so, okay, that's good. Now, I'm going to cut the bottom part as well, right here. Right? Now we have the middle part. Now we are going to use the middle part for our raccoon. And I'll, I'll be careful with the edge because it's a little bit pokey. That's why I try to trim it a little bit so it look neat and it won't be pokey. Okay, trim, trim, trim. There you go. We are going to use the middle part. Now I have brown paper and I want to wrap it around. So this is the brown paper. For the brown paper, if you have the construction paper or any other brown paper, you want to divide it into two and then cut it in a half. So we are just we are going to use half of it. Now you're going to wrap around gonna wrap around the middle part of the bottle just like this once you're done wrapping it around with tape you can use tape I use tape right here or you can use glue okay now once you're done with it you start putting together the raccoon parts now I have the eyes already put on right here and I have the nose and now I'm gonna put the uh, ears everything the ears and the tail voila you're done with the raccoon oops I'm going to go it more voila you are done with the raccoon now next we are going to create the turtle the turtle is pretty much done we're missing something we're missing the shell this is the one that i already created i gave it a shell there you go. we're missing something you guys we are going to give it a shell. So, 
remember, we cut that bottle into three parts. And then we just gonna need the bottom part for the turtle's shell. So it's uh, simple. What you're gonna do is you're gonna attach the, sh the shell just like this. You can use tape, but I would prefer tape. It's a lot easier when you're using tape. I'm gonna tape it down. this and, oopsie I'm gonna tape some tape right here I'm gonna touch it like this like this and if you want it um if you want to attach more tape you can like on the back here Yes, you can. There you go. You're done with the turtle and the raccoon. Now, for the alligator, it's the same thing. You just need another water bottle. You cut it into three parts. One, two, and then three parts. I have the one that has been cut. And I'm going to use the middle part again, just like the raccoon. And I'm going to wrap it around with a green paper if you don't have any green paper it's okay you can use the white one to wrap it around and then you can color it all right so once you're done wrapping it around and then you can attach well i have the legs already here so you can attach the legs one two one two three four legs and then i will attach the crocodile i mean the alligator head Now I have the alligator head right here, and you're gonna touch the tail as well. Once again, if you wanna create your own alligator, you wanna create your own turtle, you don't wanna use a template, that's fine. There you go. There you go, we have an alligator here. We have a raccoon and also a turtle. So we have these three characters from Raccoon on his own. That's all for today. So don't forget when, once you're done, take a picture of your um, craft project of these three, of these three cute characters that you made. And then also retell the story, um, share it with your mom and then retell the story to your mom, your dad, um, your brother, sister, or any other family member in your home. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, see you again next time.